Tenguk refers to the source of everything in the universe and the universal law in which everything continuously goes through cycles of creation and destruction. Tegok Panjang stands for Gong and symbolizes the source of growth. Tegok Panjang is also a Pumse that summarizes the basics and represents mature techniques of Taekwondo. When moving on from an initiate to becoming a belt holder, we will now take a look at the Pumse of Tegok Panjang. Taeguk Paijang consists of six key moves, namely Tubal Tangsong Chagi, Godro Pakadmaki, Wesan Tulmaki, Tangyo Chirugi. Godro Aremaki, and Dio Apchagi. These are the six key moves of Teguk Paijang. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Teguk Paijang. Dubar Tangsong Chagi is a kicking technique where you jump and perform two mid-air kicks in succession. The first Bal Chagi lightly kicks a target at the torso level, and the second Bal Chagi kicks a target higher with the other foot. Godoro Bakadmaki is a technique to block with your hands with help from the assisting hand. The fist blocking the torso should be placed at the solar plexus level, while assisting hand is placed level with the blocking elbow. Be careful not to let the blocking hand move outside the outer line of the body. Do not let the assisting armpit detach from the body. Wesantumaki is a technique where your arms are crossed in front of your chest. The inner arm blocks the lower body, and the outer arm performs Orgul Anparmok Bakadmaki. The wrist of the arm performing Anparmok Orgul Bakadmaki should be level with the philtrum while the arm performing aremaki should be about two raised fists apart from your adjacent leg. The elbow of the arm performing anparmok orgul pakadmaki should face downward. The eyes should point in the direction of the arm performing are pakadmaki. Tangyo jirigi is a technique used mostly to strike the chin by pulling an opponent's clothing. The jirugi starts at the chest line with the fist pulled back. The fist performing jirugi passes by the wrist being pulled back and reaches the target. Be careful not to let the hammer fist touch the front of the shoulder performing jirugi. Also, be careful not to let the fist start at the back and perform jirugi upward, like chi jirugi. When performing godoro aremaki, 
The blocking hand should maintain a space of two raised fists above the knee set forward. The assisting hand should be level with the elbow that performs aremaki. Dio apchagi is a technique used to jump and perform apchagi mid-air. The kick must complete at the peak of your jump. These are the six key moves of Teguk Paljang. We will now look at the moves in succession connecting each move. The key moves of Teguk Paljang, first part, consist of Wen Godoro Pakatmaki, Orun Jirigi, Tubal Tangsong Chagi, and Wen Anmaki, and Double Jirigi, and Orun Jirigi. When connecting from the first move, when Godoro Bakatmaki to Momtong Jirugi, you must perform the preparatory move of pulling the right fist back. After the first kick of Dubal Tangsong Chagi, bend your kicking leg, then continue with the next Bal Chagi. Prepare for the Wen Anmaki once your right foot touches the ground. Quickly connect with Wen Anmaki and double Jirugi the moment your left foot touches the ground. Cautions for Teguk Paljang, first part, taking a closer look. Shout the moment you perform the second Paljagi during Tubal Dangson Chagi. Do not pull your right fist back and perform jirigi when connecting from wen godoro bakadmaki to momtong jirigi. We will now practice the moves of teguk paljang, first part, in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Paljang second part consist of Wesan Tulmaki, Orun Tangyo Jirugi, Wesan Tulmaki, Wen Tangyo Jirugi, Wen Sonna Maki. Orun Jirigi, Orun Apchagi, and Orun Patangson Anmaki. The first performing Jirigi should face upward and placed between your solar plexus and chest line. Then pulling arm should be free from unnecessary force and placed level with the shoulder line. Twist your torso and pull your arm. Then slowly perform Dangyo Jirugi by exerting force. Shift your weight to your right foot. Then pass your left foot in front of your right foot to assume the Apgoa Sogi posture. When connecting to Wen Sona Godoramaki, after performing Dangyo Jirugi, shift your weight to your left foot. Spin your body 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then pull your right foot backwards. After performing Orun Apchagi, return the kicking leg to where it was before the kick like you're reclaiming it. Then set your left foot one step backward. Immediately pull your right foot towards your left foot, then perform Orun Bomsogi and Orun Batangson Anmaki. Cautions for Teguk Paljang, second part, taking a closer look. When performing Wesan Tulmaki, your feet should stand diagonal to Pumse's progress line. Be careful not to disconnect the moves that connect Apchagi to Mullo Didyo Patangson Anmaki. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Paljang second part in succession while watching the video.
The key moves of Teguk Paijang, third part, consist of Wen Songna Godoro Maki, Wen Aptagi and Orun Jirigi, Wen Patang Son Anmaki, Orun Songna Godoro Maki, Orun Aptagi and Wen Jirigi, and Orun Patang Son Anmaki. Perform Antagi and Jirugi in succession. Move the body center back transition to bomsogi, then perform anmaki. Slowly repeat after me. Shift your weight to your front leg, and at the same time spin your torso clockwise using your left ball. Then perform the preparatory oden sonna godoromaki move. Complete the sona godoromaki move by spinning and setting the left foot in the direction of progression. Cautions for Teguk Paijang, third part, taking a closer look. When spinning and setting your foot from the wen bomsogi to oren bomsogi, do not overset your right foot and spin your torso with your fixed left foot. Such turns stiffen the body and can cause injury to the knees. You must understand the coordination between moving the center of the body and spinning the torso when performing dikki and dora dikki. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Paijang third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Pajang, fourth part, consist of Godoro Are Maki, Wen Apchagi, Oren Dio Apchagi, Oren Anmaki, Double Jirigi, Wen Sonar Pakat Maki, Oren Parkumchi Dolya Chigi, Oren Tungju Mok Apchigi, Wen Jirigi, Oren Sonar Pakat Maki, when Palkumchi Doryo Chigi, when Dungju Mok Apchigi, and Oren Jirigi. After when Apchagi, bend your knee, jump with your right leg, and continue with the Oren Duyo Apchagi. Shout at the same time while performing Oren Duyo Apchagi. Land after performing Duyo Apchagi, then naturally connect to Anmaki and double Jirugi. Open your chest while performing Palgumchi Doryochigi, then target the area slightly above the shoulder. Turn the torso that twisted during Palgumchi Doryochigi to the opposite direction and continue with Dungju Mok Apchigi. Then use the movement of the pelvis to complete the move with Jirugi. Concentrate on the coordination of the three moves. Cautions for Teguk Paijang, fourth part, taking a closer look. When performing Duyo Apchagi, be careful not to perform Apchagi by relying on the rebound from the front kicking foot moving up and down. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Paijang, fourth part, in succession while watching the video. This concludes training for Teguk Pajang. The only thing remaining is to become a belt holder. We will take another look at all the moves and master Pumse.
We have looked at the key moves of Taeguk Paejong and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. As you are now on the verge of becoming a belt holder, continue with devotion and the proper mindset to better grasp the postures and techniques. We will see you again in the choreo video. Thanks for watching.